Traditional Podcast Episode 108. Round of applause. Please. A little early on the round of applause. We like the anticipation. We like it. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. If you're new here, if you don't already look below, you see the subscribe button isn't pressed. You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see the comment section isn't fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong, get your good karma. And guess what? Your good karma has come back to you today. You know why? Because the summer tour is announced and tickets are available right now. Link in the bio. Round of applause. Yep, and this is how it's going to go. We're going to be in Boulder, Colorado, May 31st at the Boulder Theater. We're going to be in Washington, D.C., June 13th at 930 Club. We're going to be in Philadelphia, June 15th at TLA Theater. We're going to be in Chicago, June 21st at Park West. We're going to be in Phoenix, Arizona, June 27th at the Van Buren Theater. And we're going to be in Las Vegas, June 29th at the House of Blues. And we're going to be in Houston, Texas to round out this first leg of the tour, June, uh, July 11th at the House of of blues all those tickets are available right now we are so we are so excited to get back on the road finish this first leg of the tour it's going to be the same material y'all saw earlier in the year we're going to fully fully complete this tour we can't wait to shake your hands and kiss your babies it is going to be amazing it's going to be so much fun and then we have a big surprise for everybody at the end of this tour around august we cannot wait to show you guys that to give that to you guys we love you so much and guess what this is a very special episode. If you look to my left over here, it's a lot of decoration over here. It's Cam's birthday. Round of applause for Cam's birthday. We'll celebrate that when he gets on the podcast. Guys, we love you so much. Thank you for, we have 500,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that. We're on the road to 1 million. We're hoping to hit that by the end of the year. So please share this podcast with your friends, your group messages, your families. Tell people on the street. Tell tell your teachers, your classmates, everybody, and your worst enemy. We love you so much. Thank you for making dreams come true and allowing us to live the life we live and allowing us to be in your household and your earbuds and your daily lives. Lives. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hims. Your sex life is important, but your schedule is busy. You don't have time to go to a doctor's office to get treated for your erectile dysfunction. Through Hims, now you can get treated for ED without stepping foot outside of your door. That's good. Do you ever feel like you need a little boost in the bedroom? With Hims, you'll feel confident knowing you can get it up and stay it up whenever you're in the mood. Are you sick of that one size fits all method, especially when it comes to your erectile dysfunction? Well, good news. Now you got options with Hims. Hims is changing men's healthcare by providing access to affordable sexual health treatments from the comfort of your couch. Hims provides access to doctor trusted ED treatment options such as chewable hard mints, brand name treatments like Viagra or generic alternatives for up to 95% cheaper. If ED is getting you down, it's time to join the hundreds of thousands of trusted Hims subscribers and get treated. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash YSK. That's H I M S dot com slash YSK for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash YSK. Hard mints and chewable compounded products which are not approved by or verified for safety effectiveness by the FDA. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price verified based on product and subscription plan. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. We got birthday boy co-host Cam back in the studio. Happy birthday to Cam. Happy. That's moving in there, boy. I'm sorry. Cam. Right, bro. Hey, no, it's just a, it's Happy a birthday. Bit. What do you, no, please. What do you, oh. Happy birthday, Cam. <laughs> okay, okay. I need you to hold that. Keep that up. I I really appreciate the gesture. I think if if I had to base the price of that on what I just saw, that was worth every penny of thirty four cents. That literally instead of a, a, a confetti cannon, that was like a confetti burp. It was like it, was like, it went. 
<laughs> the whole the whole thing broke. The whole thing fell apart. Well, happy birthday, Cam. You're 26. Thank you, buddy. Old man. Old man. Old man. Old man Stan. Hey, happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. Happy Let birthday. Go, we Let decorated go. your your uh sign. Yeah, it's itching on my back. Appreciate that. Uh, but Cam, it is your birthday. And is. you know you mean a lot to me. So I got you a gift. No, you didn't. I swear I did. No, you didn't. I did. Cam. I hear a lot of a lot of gar I got you a I got you a cookie. A sugar cookie, your favorite. Is that is that from like middle school lunch? Where I okay. The first thing I've noticed, that's not sealed. I don't know when you purchased that cookie. That could be hard as brick. That thing's not sealed. Oxygen's all up it's inside. Not hard. Oh my god, it's crumb. It's not hard. It looks soft. So not only did you give it to me. You just mutilated it. Well, you said it was hard. I could have tested the theory with my teeth. Oh. You went, it's not hard. I got you sugar cookie flour. Happy birthday, Cam. This is a sack of dough now. This is a sack. Let's try it, though. Let's try it. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. That means a lot. Happy birthday, Cam. <laughs> you got the worst pack of them ever. Oh, my God. It broke again. Yo, what? Uh, I don't think you're doing it right, bro. Hey, this is bomb. You're welcome. Happy birthday, Cam. Thank you, bro. Happy birthday, man. Woo! I, I'm adrenaline <laughs> in my soul. Oh, my God, it's Cody Rhodes. You were literally supposed to say it's Cameron Kennedy. Oh. I thought we were on the same wavelength. I wasn't. How was your it's week? Not, no, is it Cody Rhodes' birthday or is it mine? I don't know Cody Rhodes' birthday, but on the level of importance in the world, <laughs> I would say Cody Rhodes got your beat. I love you, but Cody Rhodes out here. Cody changed. Rhodes is the WWE he's champion. Here, he's out here changing <laughs> lives. I'm just eating mangled sugar cookies with with confetti. But Cam, how how you feeling? 26 years old. How you feeling? How you doing? The hips made it another year. Shout out. The oh hips. my God, we're a year closer to surgery, baby. <laughs> That's. Isn't it scary to say that's probably a real thing? Yeah. I'm one year closer to having a replacement. And you're a year closer to death. I mean, but that's that's like always been. Yeah. I didn't always know my hips were going to suck. Isn't it sad to think that every one, they count your head. To what? Just count. By what intervals? Just one. One. Keep going. Two. Yeah. Three. Every second you're dying. Four. <laughs> that is insanely sad, isn't it? No. I think it's beautiful. Really, I don't. And another thing that, that's been creeping me out, and I, I thought about it when we walked into the studio today, okay. and there's a lot of people here, because we live in the, oh, we don't live here, but we, near, yeah. we, we, we work in this big office building. It's it, fire. It's, it's like 800 feet tall. It's a huge office building in downtown Dallas. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, hundreds of thousands of people here. A lot of companies, a lot of corporations. I was walking through the hallways today. Isn't it crazy that everybody lives their own individual life? And it is terrifying to me. But, like, why is that? Like, my world to me is like, that's sacred. That's it's, the world. It's the only thing that makes sense. To exactly. Me. Like, how I smell certain things, how I see certain things. That's what it is. And everyone's different. Everybody's different. Like, I don't know what this person's doing, like, what they're thinking about. You don't need to. Like, what their family's like, what carpet they have, what they do to clean their carpets or their dishes. Do they have a TV at home? Like, what do they watch? What are they thinking of? What do they get? To, what what makes their that makes them tingle down below? Okay. How do we know that? Like how does it so crazy? And you're not supposed to. Isn't that crazy? That sounds like a, a you know what thought. Oh uh, really? Yeah. But I don't do the you know what. I know. That's why I'm like, what? It's just. I, but it's genuinely crazy. Like somebody. I think that's actually a phobia, or not a phobia, isn't but like it? A, a like a theory, or not a theory. Uh, mm -hmm. like a, a it has a title. Sure, everything it does. Me, but it means something. But I'm saying, like, think about this. My eyes is the world. That's She's the world. You. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know what this person... Like, do you have an inner dialogue? Yes, we all do. It, no, not everybody does. Do you Like, not everybody has the inner dialogue. That's a scientific fact. Not everybody has an inner dialogue. That's proven fact? Proven fact, swear to God, too. Okay, now that scares me. Exactly. Those people are living blind lives. So like, what do they think about on it? Like, what do they... When they're quiet and they're just walking by themselves... So there's some people that actually don't have anything going on inside of them? No, no inner dialogue. That that's, is terrifying. That, now that's scary. Exactly. So, okay, if you, okay, if someone professes that they have an inner dialogue, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, human being. Yeah. If someone tells me, no, there's nothing inside. That's when I would get scared. That's, I'm, that's that is creepy. petrifying. That's creepy. That's like, what the hell do you, so, 
Do they only have thought when something's in front of them? I assume so. That's I assume terrifying. so. That's, that's. I feel like they, they're a step below. I don't like. I feel like they're a step under. Honestly, and that's okay. You're just not as developed. <laughs> they, missed, they missed a developmental year. They they were sleeping when something was supposed to be cooking. Exactly, on the bro. That's. Oh my god, and that's something I've done recently. So I've been in the gym a lot, right? I've been trying to get big, right? Now I've been, I feel like I'm doing good. Give I'm in the flex. gym often. Give him a flex. So I've been I've been doing good, and I I heard that sleep is a very important part to muscle growth. One of the biggest components. But I have crippling, life threatening anxiety, and so nighttime is terror for me. Nighttime is hell. So for I'm up all night twisting and turning and think this is it for me. Once I close my eyes, there is no tomorrow. That's nightly thoughts for me. And so, but I was like at the same time. That's so sad. But it's true. And so I was like at the same time. I want to get big, so I need to sleep, but I can't mentally. Tranquilizers. No. no. Oh, that's not okay. So I, I was thinking, and you're the muscle guy. You know a lot about muscles. You what? say a lot of science words about muscles and shit, and you're like, not we have really. to have atrophy on the tendons and shit like that, and you got to get your tendons. metabolic <laughs> sentiments and no. shit like that. Yeah. And so I was thinking, how does your body know when you're asleep? You know what I mean? So if I'm laying here, right, I was I was having panic attacks and sweat. I was peeing and pooping on my sheets. This is a nightly routine. Right. T twisting and turning, <sighs> thinking about you, a lot of blood flow. And I was like, I got to go to bed, but I can't because if I lay on my stomach, it's going to break. <laughs> so broken club downstairs. So I was laying in my bed, right? And I was like, I need to get swole, but I can't sleep because I'm panicked. So I was like, I'm going to trick my body. So I just closed my eyes and went, huh, huh. can I, tr I swear to God, can I trick my body like that? No. Why not? You're not in control. Of what? <laughs> of what? You're not in control. What does that mean? You're not in control of yourself. Say more words. You don't have enough brain power to be like, no need for food. No need for water. Sleep now. I, some people might. But you I don't, don't think you listen when I talk. You can't trick your body into sleep. I understand what I was saying. You literally said you just went like a quick But can I trick sleep? my body for the muscle growth that hey he's asleep? Oh god no. And why not? No. What changes from when I'm I'm really calm laying down, damn near just like <laughs> paralyzed, to mean I'm actually sleeping? How does the body know? Because I feel like when you're actually okay, I'm not gonna just say this, I'm not a doctor scientist, okay. but when you're actually asleep, things are happening. Your, your body's, it's sending, it's, it's like a big repair. Mm -hmm. It's like plugging in your Tesla, okay? If your Tesla just sat in the garage and it was like, ooh, I'm going to be quiet, keep the lights off, the car's not started, battery's going to recoup. Is that going to happen? No. No. It has to be plugged in. Okay. Same thing as with our body. Nothing ever gets plugged into me. We could be like this, super, super still, super just calm. Yeah. But shit's not going to happen as it would if we were actually asleep. Scientifically behind it? I can't give you the words and the phrases, but I guarantee when you're actually asleep, things happen mm. for a reason. Like, I, I don't know if it's blood, cells, whatever, membranes and mitochondria. I don't know where they're getting sent and what they're doing. They're clocking overtime. Maybe that's when they get to clock in. Oh, my God. What happened? Oh, my God. Say it. I feel like we could make a children's book about that. I've thought about making a children's book. But about that specifically. About sleep? Yeah. So the book starts like a kid goes to sleep. Okay. Like it's a small introduction. Okay. Someone goes to sleep and then... All the little mitochondria have like hard hats and clipboards and they all check in. Hey, mate. <gasps> they, hey. Go, they go through a tunnel. Yes. They, <gasps> oh, leave that asshole. for your science loser ass kid that you're going to have. That wears big goggles and is, and, and is ginger and has freckles and no friends. Can't play basketball well, but his dad really wants him to. But dad, I want to make the science fair. I don't want to play basketball. I want to read the mitochondria <laughs> book. Loser ass kid. You're so hurtful. Bro. Oh, okay. 100 percent my kid's gonna be cooler than your kid. No. Kim, honestly, let's be yeah, honest. Your, okay, your, okay. Your kid will be cool. My kid will be better though. At what? At life. My kid's gonna be more athletic. No, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Your kid's gonna be a scientist. No, he's not. No, he's and not. I'm gonna love that little ginger freak. And my kid, he's not, he's not gonna be ginger. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's not gonna be ginger. He might be a scientist. He might be an astrophysicist. Which is great. It's really cool and will important. My kid develop the rocket to leave this earth. Your kid will be like, dude, I can hoop on the moon. 
I could bring the entertainment source. I could bring CPAs up to space. It's a CPM. Like, CPM. I'm at CPAs and accounting. Oh, damn it. We've been, talking, we've been talking a lot about CPAs. But no, your kid's going to be cooler, probably yeah. more athletic, probably look better. Yeah. But I'm going to love my kid nonetheless. <laughs> your kid's going to be Ruby. My kid's not. And every single person that comes in contact loves with Ruby loves her. Loves her. But. Is it, from a, is it sympathy love? Is it? <laughs> it's like, how did I you make it so far? That little baked bean. Yeah, that's. Perfect. I can't wait till I'm watching episode 108 with your kid, and I'm like, look how we talked about you. Hey, my. <laughs> Are you gonna allow me to pick on your kid? Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I always, I hold that dear to me. Be mean to your kids. That sounds crazy. Whoa. That sounds crazy. Not mean, but like you got if. Thick skin them. Yes. If they don't get thick skin from their most beloved people in their yeah. life, bro, the real world's going to crumble. Crumble them. Cru what was that? Crumble them. You said crumble them. <laughs> it's going to crumble them. Like, it's going to destroy them. Like, so say your kid comes over to my house, right? Uncle P, mother <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's a bit much. A front kick? A teep kick to my kid's chin? Shawn Michaels. <laughs> if you sweet chinned music, my offspring... And then he comes home and tells me, you and me are putting on a wrestling match for our families. And, but no. And then I, in sumo attire. And then I... Oil? If you want to First do. one to insert wins. First one to insert wins. That's crazy. That sounds like the guy off Family Guy. Quagmire? No. Geek, geek. No. Oh, wait, the who? old man. Whoever takes the money. Oh, I yeah. PM wins. <laughs> that guy, that's the sickest bastard. No, that's... Never mind. And his I'm, dog was I'm like... A, I'm going to save that for another Dude, day. Malcolm is dying. That's we so shouldn't sad. say that. Don't say we that. shouldn't, so but it's true. But how do you? What? How do you know? He's shit in the house. He's never shit in the house. He Malcolm's sh never shit in the house. Never shit in the house from even when he's a puppy. He never did. He was like always really good at that. To hell with his death. Celebrate that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If there's another human on this earth that can say it. my dog's never shit in the house. Yeah, he was always really good about it because whenever we bought him, he was on his like they're about to euthanize him, and they're like, hey, if you don't buy this dog, we're gonna let him go. And then so Malcolm knew he's like, he if I, I don't. <laughs> He said, I got to be on P's and Q's from day one. I remember the first day we got him. He was so cute. Bro. And now he's on his way to the heavenly gates. He's going to hell. We know him. <laughs> if we know anything he's about him, murderer. he's killed so many rabbits. <laughs> and now it's so sad. I went he's back. He's the Genghis Khan of dogs. <laughs> and oh now it's so God. sad because he, he's in his older years and he oh. can't run. And he can't really hear very well. Eyes are milky. He, no, oh. his eyes are fine. He has oh, good oh, eye oh, syndrome. Oh, sorry, <laughs> and so that. we let him outside and he sees a rabbit and his natural instinct's like, I'm going to go get him. But he physically cannot He's keep like, up <laughs> and then so all the rabbits are now know that so they all congregate in the backyard and they just kind of run around them and make him feel bad for all the offspring that he's taking okay I, i'm gonna ask you just <gasps> yeah. to hear your initial thought but I, you probably can't give your response on the internet okay but i still want to ask yeah, you yeah. say you go home you go back to austin yeah. pop in the front door hey mom dad press and love you you go outside yeah you go where's malcolm he's out in the back yeah you go out there malcolm's standing on your little concrete part little yeah porch. the porch He's standing on the edge, right? Yeah. You look out into the distance, mm -hmm. 15 rabbits all with wooden twig spears in a perfect line, and there's one commander rabbit with a cute little helmet on. Maybe like a sombrero. Like a cute helmet, like a commander general, like yeah. a chief rabbit. And they're all looking at Malcolm, and they're all going like this. <laughs> like they're coming for their damn retribution. They are coming for it. Um, what would you do? You know what I'd do. Yeah, okay, let's save that for a minute. Let's save that. This episode is brought to you by a good friend of mine, and I like to call them Factor. I'm going to get real personal for a second. You know I have a very hard time going to the grocery store, buying a bunch of food, taking it home, refrigerating it, cooking it, spending hours cooking and hours cleaning. That's why a year ago I found Factor Meals, and it completely changed my life. Eat stress-free in the spring with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options. Also, discover more than 60 add-ons every week like breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day day long what are you waiting for get started today and fuel up for your springtime goals that's right no fuss no mess meals factor meals eliminate the hassle of prepping cooking cleaning all of it simply heat up and savor the good stuff factor is also tailored to your schedule customize your weekly meals with the flexibility to get as much 
or as little as you need. Pause or reschedule deliveries to suit your lifestyle at any time. Factor is your solution for fast premium meals without the need for cooking. We're celebrating Earth Day all month long. Look out for the Earth Month Eats badge on the menu for our lowest carbon footprint meals. Head to factormeals.com slash YSK50 and use code YSK50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code YSK50 at factormeals.com slash YSK50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while subscription is active. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Okay, so Cam, how was your week, Bubba? Bro, it was fun. It was, it, was a, it was a taxing week because of certain things. Not going to say on here, but it was very fun. It was good. We, this already came out after our, you're laughing at me, but I've tried, my mind circles. We went to my birthday dinner. We watched UFC 300. Obviously, this is pre-recorded, so we're going to do that in like two days. But that happened, I'm assuming it was a fantastic time. It was a good week. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good birthday. You know what happened this week? What happened? The solar eclipse happened. That was a that was a strange, strange moment in time. Very strange. And I found a way to get embarrassed in front of everybody trying to enjoy the solar eclipse. You so did. me and Cam were together and we were on TikTok Live. And we were enjoying the solar eclipse together in a parking lot of a gym, right? And I there was, was itching like a hoe. And there was a lot oh. of people outside, right? Yeah. Everybody was looking up with their goggles like, it was on. The whole gathering. It was so cool. And we got the full coverage, right? They got the total eclipse where we were at. Totality. Totality. The to- <laughs> Totality. <laughs> so so this is the first time I've ever experienced anything like this, right? So I had questions. So we were outside in the parking lot watching the total eclipse, right? Yes. It got real dark outside for the solar eclipse. Yes. It got real dark. It's pretty sick. It was like 1.30, bro. Street lights were on. It was like black. Yeah, and so we, we were making conversation with all the people around us. We were enjoying this historic moment together. Mm-hmm. And so I had a level of comfortability with everybody. Shouldn't. I shouldn't have. Should I never have. should. Should not have. And so I, it got completely dark outside. And I said. It was sick. I said, I thought it was going to get cold. And everybody, everybody stopped looking at history in the sky. <laughs> And looked at me and said, what? Yes or no was I one of those people. Okay, but I genuinely don't understand that. How did it not get cold when the total eclipse happened? And that's a genuine question because at night it gets cold, right? Colder. Because the sun's getting blocked by the moon. The sun doesn't get blocked by the moon at night. How does the moon get light? From the sun. Is the moon not in front of the sun? On the solar eclipse? Jack wagon? Wait, how's Not it? on every other day of our existence. At night, how does the moon get light? Earth, spin. I'm asking you a question. Us, other side. Moon here, sun still far, sun beam on moon, moonlight, moonlight. 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 That's moonlight. That's moonlight. That's exactly what it is. Not that, wait. Genuine, genuine, Kay. dead ass. We're going to start from just. Wait, what happened at the other side of the earth? Let me tell. What do you mean? So for the to- so the moon and the sun, that's why it's special because the moon and the sun are right by each other. Correct. That's why it's a special event for the t- solar eclipse. Correct. What happened over there? I don't think they saw it. How, what did they? Where, where was their sun? It was already nighttime. You got to think. So, so the- they had no moon that night. No. What? So if the moon was on our side getting covered, covering the sun, how the hell over there do they have a moon? Because we can always see the moon. Everyone can see it. The- Wait, actually, hold on. Oh, ho, ho! Wait. Got him. Put your... <laughs> Anime ass stance down. I'm trying to hold on. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Sun's here. Moon here. Went perfectly in the middle of the day. So we're here. We're seeing it directly. Us, moon, sun. So on the back side of the earth, they're looking that way. How do they see what they don't have a moon that night? Was their shit pitch dark? There was dark. Oh, there's a lot of crime committed. Thank you. So now I'm That's not still, does crazy. Not, that doesn't prove anything you were saying. That's exactly what I was saying. You literally said, I thought we were going to go in the ice age. <laughs> if the sun's blocked, why is there no woolly mammoths out? That's what you were saying. You don't think it should have got a little colder? No, bro. First off, that's... First how off, does the moon not melt then? If the sun's that f***ing hot, how is it getting right in front of it and not burning up? Genuinely questioning. What is it made of? Cheese? <laughs> is it made of wax? It's a rock, right? A rock! You can't... Rocks aren't flammable? A rock! A rock! A rock's not flammable? Hey, the, wait, the, you're kidding. I just really got A rock? I just really got and I'm getting hot. You literally put stones 
at uh, the bottom of a fire and around it to encompass okay. it. Okay. The woods what burns. Okay, that's a regular flame and a regular rock. The sun is there. If the moon. The sun is 15 billion light years away. I don't know if that's true. Whatever it say, they say that it is that's on the textbook. That's another Shut thing. up and let me speak. Stop the, if, the, if the sun is that far and is that powerful and can light the whole world from that distance and you put a rock in front of it yes. you expect me to just be like oh a little warm on the back end miss mr sun my back's hot that's what the moon's saying <laughs> that's what the moon's saying no you have to understand first off light years that's so far that the shit the light that we are getting hit has already happened that might that might be a curveball for you <laughs> Time but do, you, do you understand no literally like do you understand oh, y'all 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 believe anything and it's you know fucking bad 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 you're all sheep <laughs> you, oh, oh happy birthday you have to understand do you not understand that no i don't understand shit that's happening i don't get any of it you're saying there's a moon over here it's covering this and then but the sun is so bright and it's making this moon light up and, but if you get in front of it it's not gonna burn it up hey, and no. it's light years that happened two decades ago and we're getting that day first off it's so far that's like, saying, that's like saying us. Why don't we burn up? Because we're so far. Sometimes I do when it's hot. <laughs> yeah, sun burn, but we don't disintegrate into ash. So you're saying it's our whole planet doesn't it, just... So the sun's light years away, and we can still... Millions. Millions of light years away, and we can still get sunburn. But yes. if you put that flimsy ass little rock in front of it, it's perfectly fine. No discoloration or nothing. No SPF on that bitch. All it's do... You gotta understand. This this is your this is your common misconception, and I have a hot take that I think we could we could capitalize on. But here we go, the the sun. Yeah. Okay. We are feeling its heat from its heat. Okay. The rays are giving us the light. That's what gives us the light. We could literally on the backside of the moon, right? Backside of uh, Earth when it's completely nighttime, when everyone's sleepy, sleep. It's a little colder because the initial rays aren't hitting us, but the whole Earth is still heated. That's how hot the sun is. I get that. So the that's my point. So you were saying when it's blocked, we're still feeling the sun. The light is what's blocked. That's why I went okay, dark. Okay, my question is- The temperature is, didn't go here. It should have a little bit. No, it should If it's have. getting covered. No, it shouldn't have. Okay, but the moon, the big yeah. bad moon can't burn up, so it should be strong enough to block something, right? Just block some of the heat. It's blocking the light. That's why it got dark. It doesn't block the heat. How? It's a little wall, right? It's a little wall that's blocking the sun. Peyton, if there was a fire right there- Yes. Initially, right in front of us. Yes. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If there's a fire right there, yes. we would feel it. Yes or no? A little bit. Okay. If we throw up a, uh, not vomit, if uh, we- if A we, big if, rock. If we put up a big rock in front of it. Yes. Okay. Do we still feel the heat from the fire? Yes, a little bit. That's all it is. Now imagine if that fire was thousands, thousands times the size of the earth, the hottest thing we can possibly conceptualize. That's the sun. Okay. Just because there's something in front of it doesn't mean we don't feel the fire. Okay. The initial flames, it might not be as bright because we put this black rock in front of it. So it might have got a little dimmer, but, how but does, we're still hot. How does the rock not have any side effects? Because it's not a candle and it's still so far away. It's not fl Mercury. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. That bitch is burnt, but it doesn't go. <laughs> it doesn't just. It doesn't just. It's not, you don't, is you mercury don't made of the same shit we are? I don't know, probably not, because it's been directly by the sun for years. It's burnt. We are at a per, and, and that's another thing. None that's of this another, shit makes sense to me. It's another, no, okay, my hot take, I swear to God, I think you could come up with unbelievable, like you could damn near be a, a philosophical, like, uh, me? like a timepiece in history. Me? If you did this. Okay. If you went to like Stanford, right? Harvard, something like that. You couldn't get admitted. Maybe, maybe like maybe the off grounds. Maybe like the B team. Yeah, okay? yeah. So like like the, you, the, hang, the, you hang out with people that are in the school, but you're not admitted. It's like Blinn yeah. of Texas A&M. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what I, I'll go to Blinn of Harvard. You'll go to the Blinn of Harvard. Yeah. If you did that and then somehow got accepted by this big philanthropist, kind of like an Einstein thing, and you just went on this compound. Right. And all, you didn't have a phone. You didn't have a laptop. You didn't have, it sounds scary for you. You didn't have any electronics, right? Mm -hmm. You just had several notebooks and a great ballpoint pen. Okay. If you, every day, all you did was wake up, drink water, go outside, look at grass, water, nature, mm -hmm. and you just wrote your thoughts, yeah. you, you damn near might find the keys to the universe, my friend. Because you always, you always the, the fact that you think outside the box, you're already one step ahead. Yeah. Nine out of ten times, it makes you seem goofy, 
but at least you're trying. But I don't, but okay, that's the problem. And that's the beauty. The, the problem is all these people on the internet make fun of me because they're scared. Fun of they're scared. I don't care. They're scared to make, they're scared to make themselves look a certain way. They care too much about what people exactly. think. I'm so it, like, okay with myself that I'm going to be like, if this doesn't make sense to me, I'm going to ask a question. Bro. And if your explanation doesn't make sense to me, I'm not just going to accept it because you have a, a lab coat on with a monocle. Like who the fuck are you? <laughs> Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Sure, you can prescribe me penicillin. I don't care. Explain why that rock's not on fire. That's what I want you to do. I don't give a damn about your lab coat and your clipboard. Yeah, I, Explain I to me why we didn't get cold. Yeah. And that's why you're going to be great. Thank you. And another thing we argued about this is styrofoam in a microwave. You told me to take my to-go order and put it in a microwave. And I said, absolutely not, because it's going to set on fire. Why? That's rule number one in microwave etiquette. You okay. do not put foil or styrofoam in there. Foil, correct. You don't put foil. The second you put foil, you got a Harry Potter spell in there. It's yes. blue. You can yes. use Dementors flying around. You don't do foil. Yeah. What? Every restaurant on earth gives you to-go boxes in what? Styrofoam. Why would they do that if you can't heat it up? Because it's cheaper to buy styrofoam. Than what? Glass? What are they going to give you? Tupperware? Then probably something that's microwavable. It's cheaper. <laughs> what is... What is the number one thing that businesses care about? Money. Exactly. Profit, gain, and loss. Are they going to give you something that's convenient, or are they going to give you something that is cheap? They're going to give you something that's cheap. Thank you. So that's not going to kill you. That's not going to kill itself, burn itself. You know how they fi fix that? At the bottom it says, don't microwave. Liability gone. Bro, you can microwave styrofoam. No, you can't, Cam. That's how. Okay, this is this. Okay, go to, go to go to go go. Okay. Oh my God, go to Chick Fil A right now. What is what is the cups? What are the cups they give you? Not styrofoam. Oh my God, I didn't know you grew oh, up oh, in wait, Bel Air. Wait. wait, oh 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 yeah, no they are. Well, oh. some of them weren't. Some of them weren't actually. What? The some of them weren't. They're like that. That uh, it's like that cardboardy plastic, like the old like the cups from that. No, they're not. That every Chick Fil A cup you get is styrofoam. That's a lie. When we were in the airport. Don't put your remember that cup was like the cardboard one when we were in the airport about to leave. No, I don't remember that. Okay, yeah, but okay, so. just say sorry from right? It's, yes, yes. So sorry from. Sorry. Okay. So. You <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the? F wow. Yo, the the crazed look on your face. Please, somebody put that in slow motion. Why did? Literally, feel like I got stabbed in my butthole. Oh, what was this? <laughs> what the f is this? Ow! Yo, I think my hole is bleeding, dog. Ow! Smell my finger. That's a big f spray. <laughs> Yo, I'm suing this goddamn company. What is this? Ow, bro, that shit genuinely hurt. Like, I'm not laughing. That shit hurt. That is not funny. Bro, you look, you look like taking advantage. Like, you look like you're like sheltered now, bro. It Yo, went in me. This shit has bounce to it. <laughs> the fact the spring just came out of your couch. <laughs> Dog, this is the shit you can't make up. Oh my god. Okay, back to what we were talking about. Like a styrofoam. Bro, okay. T today alone, this man was running through the studio, rolled the shit out of his ankle. He goes, ah! I'm like, that's why one shoe's my tied shoe's and one tied. isn't. Then, we're setting up the lights. He stands up, pokes himself right in the eye with a rod. And now you get stabbed. This is an actual, like, this bitch is... Oh, oh God! Yeah, it hurts. No, we gotta get out of okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. When you go to Chick Fil A, right? Yes. What are the kind of cups they give to you? In? Styrofoam cups. Okay. So I want you to do this. I want you to. Would you do this confidently? Would you pour it your iced tea, right? Would you pour it the iced tea in the sink? Put that styrofoam in your microwave and press two minutes. What would happen? If there's nothing in the styrofoam, it might melt a little bit. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. What are you heating? Are you putting? Are you trying to cook something in styrofoam? Are you putting it in the microwave for 15 minutes? It takes 45 seconds to heat some shit up from last night and eat it. If it's microwavable, it shouldn't matter what it is. If it's if it's frozen and it needs to be in there for 10 minutes, 
Maybe don't use styrofoam. It's probably going to melt at the bottom. If, you're, okay. if it's microwavable, if you're eating, it doesn't matter then. It doesn't matter the time. If it's microwavable, if I put a plate in there for 10 minutes, it's not, the plate's not going to be fine. It's going to be hot as hell. It's going to be fine, though. It's yes. not going to ruin the integrity of the meal or the plate. If you put styrofoam in there, it's going to set on fire, melt, and put goo and, and chemical toxins in your lasagna. That's what I'm saying. If you're just heating up leftovers, you're good. It is not microwavable. It, I, I, there is not a, integrity to the microwavability. That's your fault. That's a you thing. That's a you thing. That's a you and whoever's on your side. Just say you're wrong. No, that's a you and whoever's on your side. Prove me wrong. Every, prove me wrong. Do you think, how many lawsuits do you think there'd be by now? If, you, if, if styrofoam genuinely couldn't be in a microwave. Hey, I've already made this point. You know how they get away from liability? The bottom of it says non-microwavable. On every single one? That's, yes. Does it really? Yes. Wait, so are we not supposed to be microwaving? No. I do it all the time. It is perfectly fine. That's why your hip doesn't work. Your toe's infected. Your brain is like a pinball machine and your kid's going to be weird. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sharp fangs. <laughs> Damn. Wait, it, it actually says that? Yes. Do not microwave at the bottom. That's bullshit. I microwave it every time. If you put it for six minutes, you're just a stupid idiot. You're just a stupid I, idiot. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by our friends at Harry's. One thing you know about my life, Cam, is a lot of ridiculous things happen. Oh, yeah. And life in general can just be ridiculous. But you know what's not funny? What's not funny, P? Getting ripped off and Harry's agrees. They saw customers getting screwed over by questionable and overpriced shaving companies and decided to go and do something better. Instead of charging the same stupid high prices, Harry's found their own way to make beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price. Exceptional products, honest prices, that's Harry's. A few things that makes Harry's the absolute best is they have German engineered blades made in their own factory that simply stay sharper longer. They have customizable delivery options for scheduled refills as low as $2 half of what you'd pay for other big brands. And they're not just razors. They have richly lathering, skin softening body washes in scents like Redwood, Wildlands, and Stone. Extra strength, high quality, amazing smelling deodorants for just $5 and other grooming products. Yeah, you can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shaving gel, and travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash YSK. Harry's has the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry. With a no risk trial, don't like your shave? No worries. It's on Harry's. And convenient subscription options that you can cancel at any given time. Getting ripped off isn't funny. Switch to Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at Woo! harrys.com slash YSK. That's harrys.com slash YSK for a $3 trial set. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. All right, this has nothing to do with styrofoam, but okay. something else that happened this week, the national championship game. Do you remember? I do. Women's. women's. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't watch the men's one. Oh, my God. What is wrong with you? I, don't, I couldn't name you f other than the college basketball players that women's I know. They have that shit going. Yeah, I can't year. name any college men's basketball players other than the ones I know. That's true. Okay, regardless, the women's championship game. South Carolina won. They beat Iowa at the end of the game. Kay. Coach Dawn Staley, she's given her interview. Goat. She's very goaded. She has swag. That Gucci zip up, ridiculous. Yeah, she's, anyway, she's clean. She's sitting there. She's like, the Lord that we serve is a fantastic God, and we're so blessed and favored. So she's saying this really intimate speech, right? Mm -hmm. Her her players are behind her. One of the girls like, yeah, man, I was shitting bricks in the third quarter. We were down. <laughs> Caleb was going crazy. This other girl's like, eh, yeah, yeah. Eh. Like, so they're, they're living it up, yeah. right? Bro, so it reminds me of this, this crazy thing that happened to me in high school basketball. Okay. So one day we come in for practice, right? Mm -hmm. My coach brings me into his office, which is connected to the locker room. Mean, like, he's mad at me for mm -hmm. whatever reason. I walk in, he goes, stand right there. I didn't even get to sit down. He goes, stand in the corner. So the way the office is set up, he's in his chair, the window, the glass is behind him. And that's where all of us are, the locker room. Yes. So I'm in the opposite corner. So I can see him and, and through the glass. And your teammates through the glass. Very important detail. Okay. He starts getting on. This is right out of seventh period algebra. Like nothing's been said to me all day. Okay. Immediately. You're bullshitting around. You're not taking this shit seriously. We need you to play if we want to win. And you're not doing it. Out of nowhere. So I'm like, what the hell? He goes... I see what you do every day in practice. I see how you act in the locker room. You're, you're bullshitting. You're playing around. You don't take this shit seriously. You don't love basketball. Peyton. Yeah. While I am getting a speech about not being serious, I need to be this better captain. I need to lead my teammates. I swear to God, 
Two of my teammates, I, and I can see the coach and them. Two of my teammates are behind him, naked jumping jacks. Butt naked jumping jacks. I'm getting yelled at. I don't take this shit seriously. I got two teammates going. <laughs> so I, you can only imagine. I'm a, I'm a natural nervous laugher. So you can only imagine. I'm sitting there like, uh, he goes, you got to spit. You want to say something? And I was like, no, uh, no, no, sir. And I covered my mouth. He goes, don't tell me you're Sick, now we got a game Friday. He's going off on me. And it just continues. So he goes, all right, enough of that. Do, do I have your word that you're going to start taking shit seriously? I'm talking no more layups. You dunk everything. If you dunk, other kids are going to try. No missing shots. No not touching the line. You got to lead by example. Yeah. At the same time, a new teammate of mine took his underwear off, put it on his head, and started going like this. So I'm, I am seeing shit that you can't even fathom right over this man's shoulder. And he's screaming at me. There's spit flying and shit, dog. And I am literally trying my absolute hardest to just keep composure. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God. And there be, bro, it, it literally, shit. as I was watching it on TV, I had like a, like a, that's so Raven moment, yeah. like a pure flashback. And I was just like. Yo, I cannot believe that. And I, I forgot all about that. I had to tell you. Bro. Yo, that shit you're better unreal. than me. No, oh, no, I'm not. I almost got, like, kicked out. When I hit that first, I went... <laughs> no, I, I, you're said, better... Oh, now you're sick. You're better than me. I would have been like, his <laughs> cop, <bro." laughs> yeah. Look at him. He's doing the naked jumping. That's what I wanted to say. I said, butt-ass naked. But I was just... Yo, uh, did, your, did your teammates knew you were getting yelled at? Bro, th and that's why they did it, or are they just normally bro, being the weird? the wall was like plywood. Just, <laughs> they could hear every word. They are like, you're not being serious. To it, bro. Oh, oh god, god, I miss those days. It was oh my god, it was bad. I miss those days. It was so that, that was oh shit. That was genuinely one of the hardest moments in my life. Like a, you want to laugh, everything in you is trying to laugh, but you can't. Oh my god. There's there's moments where I don't know you because you are a goofy guy, but I don't know if there's moments you would be serious. Like this, did you see the article this uh, Easter in L.A.? There was a thirty million dollar heist on a bank. God, like, I, like, like real life, real life highs thirty mil out of the bank on Easter. First of all, is this doing GTA? It, uh, doing it? No. First of all, is it GTA? Second, doing it on Easter is insane. Smart though. That's insane. Banks are closed. Decent move, but insane work. How do you get thirty mil out? That's yeah, crazy. What, what bank are they running? Yeah. Yeah. Damn sure not a Chase or a Wells Fargo. Austin Tone. They got about a mil liquid in a in that, and that's highly protected. You're getting thirty, 30 mil. Thirty mil Cash? from the bank. Now, yes or no? Are some of those bills traced? 100%, 100%, 100%. But that made me think. Okay. I've always wanted to live on the wild side. Okay. Me and you, right? Oh, we'd get away. How much do you think we could get away without a bank? Like a regular Chase bank down the street. If me and you wanted to rob a bank, how would we go about it, and how much do you think we could take seriously? Honest qu honest answer? We're not getting 30. We're not getting 30 M's. There's well, no way. How there's, much are we? Why? Because no you can't even carry a million yourself. So I'm damn sure not grabbing the if other If they're in hundreds, yes, I could. Yeah, maybe one mil. Yeah. That's it. Okay. What am I grabbing the other 29? I'm going to be loaded down like Mr. Incredible? Pick your hat. I have a car. You have a car. Okay. So the car, like, holy shit. Me and you shit. pull up in our respective cars. You got to break down this plane because you're the brains of the operation. I'm, I'm the muscle. Okay, first thing we do, we wear sleeveless shirts. Very important reason. Why? We wear sleeveless shirts. After we commit it, we immediately go home, use some of that cash. We go get inked up completely. Surveillance videos, they have naked arms, but the next time someone questions us, we're completely inked. It can't be me. I've had these tattoos for years. Oh, pay maybe off. you're not the brains of this we operation. Pay, we pay off the artist. Just bear with me. Okay, ski mask, different colors. Can't wear the same one. It's too easy to track. Different colors, ski mask, shirtless, sweats and shoes we don't care about. The second we're gone, we burn them. Okay. Disintegrate them. Yeah. Okay. With the cat, okay, the biggest thing is we have to spend cash at everywhere we go for the next 100%. Hours. With cash, we buy a junk car from a redneck. He doesn't like talking to law enforcement. He's done dirty things himself. Yes. Junk car from redneck, travel to Nevada. Okay. I have a place assume. where you get junk cars. We don't have to go to a stranger. Even better. Junk car. Fresh tattoos. We got to get good ointment to where okay. they don't look fresh when we get questioned. Okay. And then we just stay low for at least two months. You can't do anything. You can't, can't spend the money? Can't enjoy anything we got. Where for, are we putting the money? For two months. Literally in the trunk. We're in, just leaving in the junk car? 30 M's. Trunk of the junk car. No one's pulling no, up. No, you're ones. bad. No, oh, no. I'm, because the I'm junk car is going to be shaving, on. I'm shaving every hair follicle on my body. I will be a naked. <laughs> I will be a, a morph suit looking man. No, the, 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 we, we got to get a new car. We got to burn the junk car. 
Because that's on surveillance. We can't keep the no, money in the junk no, car. No, the junk car is our new car. We get rid of our cars. Actually, no, no, time out. There's no. Well, you said we pull up in our perspective. Vehicle. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're the brazy operation. Okay, yeah, you said that's horrible. They'd go license plate. Uh, go to his house. Take his mom. I go here. Have the money. Okay, junk car. Get rid of it. Yeah. Get new junk cars. What I meant. To say. Yes. Okay, I'll I'll let you take over from here. We're in Nevada. Okay. We have the money. We're both bald as shit. We're wearing weird clothes. Money's in the trunk. Itchy from new tattoos. Okay. What do we do next? With the money? With our life. What's the next step? <laughs> I'll take it back. I'll take the reins back. My God. You're, you're in charge for 10 minutes. We're in cuffs. Okay. Next thing we do, we apply for local jobs. Okay. okay. We have to. Only one of we We switch shifts, though. Your okay. graveyard, I'm during the day. Your okay. graveyard, one's always in the car. We okay. live out of that car for two months. Yeah. We get very close, very stinky. Okay. Okay. Oh, can we kiss? We're, we're, no. We're working jobs. We're, we're going to get real... Like we, we're, we're on this high of a lot of money we get, and we're naked close to each other. You don't think we'd get a little... I don't sleep naked. If you sleep naked... You're going to get hot in Nevada. If you sleep naked in a 97 Pontiac, then you're already a different guy. In Nevada? In Nevada. You're going to get hot. It gets cold in the, at night. But you don't want to take desert. a nap during the day? I'm going to be working. Where? I work during the day. You got the graveyard shift, so we're both cool. We're both cool, calm, and collected. See, I told you I'm here. I'm here okay. with you. So, once we get the job, we get a singular notebook, composition, I like them better. We write down our new life story. Yes. Kind of like the Ricky Stanicki movie. Yes, we yes, we yes, write yes. down a plan, yes. how long we've been here, why are we here, we're, we're, we're lovers, and yes. we've eloped. And we have to know that to the, no, stop it. We have to know that to the Two T. kids. To the T. We have two, two kids. kids. Sure. Two kids. Brian and what? Peyton. So, you get a junior, and my son's name is Brian. That's your choice. Now, how about Brian and Steph? Curry. Peyton Harden, but I do have because you are a cheap guy. So we'd say di cheap. Di different scenario, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Different scenario. Fun. Different scenario. How fast do you think you could burn through five hundred thousand dollars immediately? No way. Immediately. You think you could burn through it faster than I could? Yeah. Okay. Say 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 we're gonna buy on counter three. This okay. is, this no 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 no. But you can only buy things that you actually would want. You can't just you buy. You can't just oh, okay. spend it on. Just five hundred thousand dollars. Then, $500, then I guarantee I'd get it quicker than you. Even better. That, With that, things you want, like that, actually want, like daily use things. Yeah, that helps me even more. What would you get? Because my, fir I'll tell you my first thought process. Say yours on the count of three. Hold on. Five hundred thousand dollars. See, I already know, and you don't. I've already won. I've already spent the money. I've already bought it. Okay. Okay. Can't be an investment. That's not. Can't be an investment. Like it, you, personal pro fun uh, yeah. use only. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Personal fun use. Yeah, like li daily life use. I'll say my first answer. You're probably gonna veto it though. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. House. Bot. Boat. A, bo a bot? A bot? I get the stripper whiteboard war robot. You're buying AI. Yeah, stripper whiteboard robot. Okay, I bought a house. All of it gone. I'd give him $500,000. Immediately gone. Maybe I would, didn't mean to say 500000 500 million. Okay, now 500 million, I'd say you could burn through it more. Yeah. I don't even know what I would do at that point. Oh my God. I'd buy everything I've ever wanted. You'd have naked AI robots. Everywhere. Oh my God, I'd have a, I would have a- Cassandra. I, I would have a brothel of AI. Why? A brothel of a. I would be like a brothel. <sighs> CJ muted. I'd be like. It's like I had to get it out. I had to get it out. I had to get it out. It was. It was killing me. The you should know podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Fume. You ever tried to break a bad habit and felt like you're climbing Everest in flip-flops? Yeah, we've been there too, but there's a breath of fresh air and it's Fume. It's not about giving up, it's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply just makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious, delicious flavor. Yeah, you get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and make replacing your bad habit easy. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your bad habit. Oh, you know I love that part. The taste is amazing, the feel is fantastic in your hands, and the look 
How beautiful. I mean, it's just perfect little real wood, the small shape. It's a fantastic. It's a great little fidget device, and it's great for breaking a bad habit. And it looks great. Start off your right with a good habit by going to trifume.com slash YSK and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the You Should Know podcast 10% off when they use our code YSK to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Thank you to Fume, and shout out to everybody that uses Fume. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know podcast. Okay, speaking of speaking of scenarios, would you rather's? I have one for you. Okay, yes. Pipe down. I like when you're would you rather's because it okay. makes me feel like you care about what I have to say. It's not, well, I'd, I'd like to hear your thought process. Okay. Simple. Would you rather? Yes. Would you rather never be able to get a haircut again, <laughs> or never be able to shave any part of your body again? That's that's fine with me. That I feel like that one is easy. Look at the back of my legs. <laughs> yeah. Hair. Hairy. Hair. Ground beef. Hairy. And I've never shaved and I've just been this hairy. I'm fine with it. I would never shave the rest of my body again. You might not be able to see my my, <laughs> my man meat ever again, but you just you, you just you put a put one of those lights on your head and go find it. So you, uh, just go digging for it. Just go go get you some mud. Go get your hands dirty. <laughs> Go get what you want. <laughs> so, so Brooks, Brooks, in your your lineup, is that valuable to you? Yes, my face is on You're camera. Kidding. My whole job is on camera. Peyton, you'd look like a you would look elderly in two years. How? You can't shave this ever again. That's a part of the uh, haircut. I said all fa all hair. You can't shave any hair on your body. So I can't get a haircut then. No, no haircut. That that's the only thing that's excluded. So skulling up. Skull here and up. Oh no. No, but I'd be fine. I 100% I still my lineup is uh, my barber, that relationship with it, I would to keep my to keep my haircut. I, I would not. And I'm going to go shave my body. I don't give a damn about a haircut. That's fine by me. Cam. What? Cam, you would look nasty. I, I would, but I don't give a damn. At least you Yo, okay. For first as of, much for as much as you're telling me I'd look nasty, you would smell horrendous. You would smell you would smell utterly bad. Body shampoo. Body shampoo. You'd literally you would have like you would have a bush, a full blown a bush. I would not, be a, not a bush that we're thinking. It'd be a literal garden and you'd be like <laughs> You'd smell There might be a there might be a couple bugs once every two months, but oh. just flick them off like a ladybug. That's that is that is vile. I would have I would have a thong of, of pubic hair. Your lower back, your lower back would be the bikini line. <laughs> no, that would be the only problem is my butt crack because it would be oh, it would be hard oh, to it would, get, oh. it would get hard to poop. I've it would get caught. Ah! It would be like a, it would be like a little webbing. It would be like come here, we got him. It's a spider web. It's a, oh I, my god! Then go the like, critters come out and they eat. Up the, oh okay. oh no, god Lee. Oh oh oh. I might have a helmet of hair. But that's that's the beauty on my hair though. Oh no, that'd be bad. Cam, your head is so big. And it never drops. My hair's so thick. Oh my god, you'd have an afro. I'd be a chia pet. I would just put on a headband and I would do 1970s street ball reenactment. You can finally live out your black dreams. Okay. You'd put pick. You Cam, but finally, I could get cornrows or something. I go, what you say, white boy? <laughs> Bro, my hair would. Li Who are you looking at? I don't know. I thought I heard voices in my head. My, that's okay. I didn't think about that. What? what the f I didn't stop with these faces. Stop. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I'm still, I have to shave my body. But okay. bro, my hair wouldn't, my hair doesn't drop. It, it, it No, it would just go like this. But no, 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 I could do like a co-wash or something. Liv would get me right. Me? Liv would get me right. Liv would leave you. Liv, <laughs> no, you would be, you, oh, marriage is not in your oh, future anymore. Oh, you would have to become <laughs> a, or, uh, asymbiotic. You'd have to self-reproduce. No woman would touch you. None. That's fine. Is, would you touch me? So no woman. <laughs> if you don't touch me, then we'll have a problem. But if you still touch me like you touch I'm me, I'm not touch. No, it's your no, birthday. No, it's your birthday, so I know you are to ride. And if you are to ride, the cameras ready for. <laughs> I pinched a nerve. Dead ass. You're going home with your ass whooped from today. Oh my god. Okay, do you want to know initially what I was gonna get you for your birthday? I was gonna say, you know, okay. You just turned into someone different. I didn't like okay, that. Okay, fun fact about okay, me. Okay, do you know who I want to initially get you? Fun fact about me and Cam, right? We, we FaceTime all the time, and he always sees me naked. Don't believe this is truth unless Cam, I do you, it. Cam, do, you, do I show you- That part's 100% true. I show you my naked body nearly every time we're on FaceTime. This doesn't sound but like- But it's your birthday, so I was gonna give you something special. Okay. You know how I sometimes show you the rear like that? Yeah. 
and I, maybe sometimes I'll send you a picture of a little, like right before the shower, I'll be like, boop, I'll send you a little picture, right? Yeah. It's, we're friends. That's what we friends do. Yeah. I was going to go to Target. You better watch your next words carefully. This is on, this is out here. Yeah, I was going to go to the icing. <laughs> Put some icing on it. Maybe a couple sprinkles. <laughs> send you a picture. <laughs> He's like, happy birthday, Cameron. If I would have opened my phone and there was a rectangle with invisible ink and I scrubbed that ink off, and it was an ass cake of yours for my birthday. Thank you. I delete your number. That's Tres, oh, no. that's tres Leches. <laughs> I got a Tres Leches ass. I do have a multicolored I, ass. No, you do. It's like ice macchiato. Just yeah. Like no, <laughs> your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, oh, you did that for a reason. Oh, you no, no, I didn't. No, 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 you're, no, you're, no, you're I, I have you. I have you fantasizing. No, that's how I would do that. Matter of fact, okay, again, my mind, you already said it, pinball mind. My mind is running rampant, but you are a genuine sick bastard. The shit, you, the shit that, when I called you yesterday, and what you said on the phone, that really, that like pissed me I off. I genuinely don't remember. I'm About blank. About showers. I... Okay. Not I genuinely even, don't remember. Not story time, just secret time for Peyton. I call Peyton. Be careful, because I will cut it out. I call Peyton. Hey, bro, uh, the chicken was frozen. I messed up, so I think we are going to go out and eat. Oh. What was your response? What was your response? I have to shower before we go? Brilliant. You remember so far? <laughs> okay. I have to shower before we go. I said, all right, we'll get in the shower room. You'll be over in like 15 minutes. Hurry up. He goes, but I'm waiting. For what? He goes, my towel. <laughs> what do you mean you're waiting for your towel? You said, well, I didn't have any towels clean, so I had to wash a towel, and then I had to dry it. And I said, oh, like, so you're waiting for your load of towels. He said, no, I, I only needed to do one shower. I go, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me you genuinely take one towel, start a load, a load of laundry no. with a singular towel, no, then dry one towel, and then use it. Where are you from? You're not from here. Okay, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. That is weird. No matter how you try to formulate and cookie cut this bullshit, that's stupid. First of all, because I'm not a sick, nasty freak like you, you Slavic baby. I wasn't born on the mountains of Caucasus like you. I can't reuse towels. I can't wipe my genitalia off, put that towel back over the rack, and when I shower again, scrub my face off. I can't do that. So once I use a towel, it's kaput until it is washed and dried and put through the funnel of cleanliness. That's rule number one. Kay. So I go through towels fairly quickly quickly yeah. so i shower not too often but when i do i only use it once new towel right i use a new towel so everything's good so i've far. been going to the gym a lot recently so after Every i day. after i get, leave the gym i shower two hours later because mm -hmm. it takes a lot of courage to get back up mm -hmm. so we okay, went to the gym mm -hmm. went back home mm -hmm. i wasn't prepared i had no towels left in crisis situations right whenever i'm i need to quickly shower and get dressed i will wash one towel. I normally don't have underwear. I will wash one underwear. I don't have socks. I'll just, I don't wash my socks. I wore the same socks for five days and it had tequila no, you, on them. You, you literally had the same pair of socks on with tequila stain on it. That is sickening. Continue. And so that's what I'm saying. In situations where I need to get and go, it takes longer to put a full load in there. And I'm not, what, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Am I laundry man Peyton or my podcast Peyton? I don't do laundry. I don't know how. Well, I do, but it makes my back hurt and it makes me anxious and it's so much waiting. You don't, you don't do laundry? No, I don't. You know I don't do laundry. That's, don't, when's the last time you see me wear this shirt? It's been a while. Exactly. It, it, it hasn't been clean since the last time I wore it. it. The smell just wore off. So that shirt's dirty? Oh, yeah. I literally had to, there was like crust on it. I had to go like this and like fluff it before I got here. I swear to God. You have to scratch off your clothes before you wear it. I swear to God. Those shorts. I don't know who these are. I don't know who these are. <laughs> I found these in the studio. I don't know who these are. Cam, yes or no? Before we went to the gym, I said I don't have any clean underwear, and then I went in my duffel bag and I found for us the Mac Weldon sponsorship ones. I was like, thank God. Okay, and I just ripped that, those out of the I pack. You were trying to just be convenient and try them out. I had no other option. I was going to free ball to the where gym. Those, and where are those socks from? The dirty laundry. Peyton, are they dirty? A little black. I can tell you've been walking in them. Yeah, bro. Laundry takes- You didn't see Ruby nibbling on my socks yesterday? Because there was like grass stains on them. They were the same ones I wore to Zilker. In Austin, for our Austin show. Oh my f goodness. Oh my God. That was like weeks ago. Oh, and I got in a debate with my mom about this. And my mom was- She probably wants to kick your ass. She was ridiculing me. Okay, when you go to the, when you go to the store, right, and you buy underwear, do you wash them? 
right like, before I like, like before when you, you buy wear it, before you wear them. Do you go you buy a new pack of underwear? Do you go home and wash them? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was weird. It's untouched. But it's like it's like but it's underwear. I don't know. It's uh... okay. But I bought the I got, I'm starting to get like nicer underwear because I'm tired of getting holes all up in my. Like it feels like there's a mouth. Have you seen that movie Teeth? Oh no no no! <laughs> like there's no. a mouth on my. No. And it's like, come on. It's like, he's, ah, he's, come out to play. He's the hun- under, underwear eater. And so, like, That's I don't know. Thing. Yeah, like, underwear eater right, eater right under my ball sack. And it eats. So I always have holes right here, right here, right there. And I think it's going to scratch a lot there. <laughs> and so. <laughs> And so I'm trying to buy nicer underwear, right? But the the nicer underwear I'm buying, it only you can only buy one at a time, and it comes at like on a hanger, right? And I haven't been washing those. Okay, that's even so. It's it's not even packaged. No, no, no. It's out on a hanger. I want you to think this. Yeah. Some low life, desolate creep could have came up and went. <sighs> I love making people's days. <laughs> Smell me. Get a load of me. No, that she's 100% right. It's gross. They're not even packaged, bro. I did have an itch. But that's fine. No, that's not. No, it's not. Do you get butt pimples? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you get ass pimples? What? No, I never I don't get ass pimples. I get ass pimple. It's always one and it's really bruisy and hard. And Left hurt. or right? Depends. Changes. Left or right? It, it changes. If you had to pick one. Right now, it's right. That makes sense. Wait, why? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that checks out. And I got another debate with you, actually. Do you scrub your ass? Like, do you thoroughly... When you shower, are you a clean shower? Okay, genuinely, and this is... I'm going to probably have regret. My digital footprint is insane. Yeah, it is. But but I'm genuinely myself, right? That As you should. That's okay. good. Power I don't hide you. anything about this. Like, this is me. Oh, my God. I'm going to get ready. So, I, I... Manscaped hasn't sent one of their hand scrubber things in a while, and I lost it on the move. So, it's Manscaped. Can you please send another one? And so, I haven't had a loofah in about... How long did I move in it go? Like almost a year? What? How, when did I move into my new house? November. November, December. It's like four months. Oh, damn. God. It's just been real desolate and lonely in there. Time is moving gray and slow. So so four months, right? I've been without a loofah or anything to scrub. Is that a year? And so this is how I wash, right? I have my hand. I wash with my hand now. Normally I don't. Normally I have a washcloth, but I lost all those. And then Manscaped, I lost my hand thing. The sponsor, I lost the hand thing. So I, I just mean. How did you move? How are you losing all these? You're just like, I have fun. Honestly, you know me. That's true. And so what I do is I'll get the soap, right? Mm-hmm. And I'll start up top like this. I'll oh, get, man. I'll start up top my shoulders, my body. And then my back hasn't been touched in years. I bet my back smells like Narnia. You know, you know, in SpongeBob when they like zoom into the things and it's like corroded and like nasty. That's your back. <laughs> okay, probably. Oh. And then I'll get my sensitive areas, right? I'll get my pits, right? And so upper body's done. That's as much as I do. This is how quick it is. Right there. Done. Right. That's the top half. Top half is complete. Cause most, I spend like forty five minutes in the shower, but half of it is contemplating oh. what am I doing? <laughs> like why do I feel this way? Is this regular? And how the f is the moon not dissipated? You know what I mean? Like, that's my life. And so then it's time to go to the sensitive regions, the undergarments, right? And so this is what I do. And you genuinely want to know how I wash my ass? I go to my stink spots first. <laughs> what is that? So what? I'll re up on the soap. I'll re up on the this soap. This is a bare hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. What if you had a nose itch after? What if you went and oh. you had an itchy nose? Oh. I genuinely have an answer to everything. I genuinely have an answer to everything. Right, and I'm being completely honest with you. Don't Dead ass, no podcast shit, no entertainment purposes. I am being completely paid hard right now. I'll put it in my hands. More, because that's a stinky ass region I'm about to go <laughs> uncontaminate, right? Put it in my hands like this, and then I get my, my stink areas, my webbing. That, you know me. It's, you love your webbing. No, I don't. I hate it. It stinks, and it's ho- it's. Sex. It's sensitive and it burns. You, oh my god! You have something! You have something! <laughs> Peyton girlies, don't leave now! You need antibiotics! <laughs> oh my god, so, you need- No, it's just raw. Because <laughs> you play with it 24 hours a day! And so I'm, I'm getting in my- Stop, bro! <laughs> I'm showing you, ask the f- question, you want it? Right, so look, I'll get my webbing, right? I'll get my webbing. And then, so I still, I haven't washed off my top half, top half yet. But I'm letting it marinate. Like, kind of like a good steak on Thanksgiving. And so, and so, so, so I'll get here. 
Get my. <laughs> <laughs> you said I can't. You're a sick man. And so, oh my God, I believe that. I'm though. being so. No, I swear to God, Cam I Kennedy. That. I swear to God. And so I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up, throw it over the shoulder, and then get under it. And so <laughs> that part's a lie. It barely even touches the belly button. So here we go. <laughs> so, sorry, Mom. My help. So here we go. Now it's time for the butt. You want to do and uh, wash my butt? I'm so Cam, Cam, Cam. I, I swear to God, this is how I've been doing it since I lost my loofah. <laughs> this is what I do, right? Or I'm going to wash my <laughs> I swear to God, and I'm so nervous because this is true. <laughs> So nervous. All right. So all the suds from up top are still there, right? So I'll go like this. I'll 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 start my thumb on my abdomen and work up to my collarbone. <laughs> then right arm, right right finger. I'll work my finger from the left to the abdomen. And so there's soap all all, all in the back of my. Room. They don't take it. I'll go right right to the rear and I'll just swipe it up. Swipe it up right in that crack. <laughs> and then I'll mush it mush what? my cheeks so, how open were they? I'll, I'll, I'll get some separation I gotta how get open, in there how open were they for you to be able to go what? I'm just saying I'll squeeze them together so nice nice it's like a Philly cheesesteak back there. Oh no, you are you are supremely inadequately clean. And then you you're wondering <laughs> you're wondering how I wash my face. And oh, so no, I'm a jerk no, like no. you know I'm sensitive with my face. Like I don't want people touching my face. I don't like touching my face. So I have to make sure my hands are clean if I got a nose itch or an eye itch or something. <laughs> and so I'll wash my hands off with whatever after I wash my whole body and then I face wash and I feel like face wash is cleaner. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six squirts of the face wash. I'll uh, just wash my hands and I'll wash them in the shed and then dry them off on the towel and then I'll be able to touch my face again. Yeah, I bet you are. It's, you do six pumps of face wash to wash your hands mm -hmm. to leave the shower. Not even to wash your face. No, no, no. Just to resume the shower. If, just in case I want to touch my face. I'm still in the shower. Six, I have like 35 more minutes left. Six. That whole process took four minutes. Six <laughs> pumps of face wash. To wash my hands. To wash your face. Phalanges yes. to continue to shower yes. without washing your face. Not every day is a face wash day. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna get eaten alive. <laughs> is that bad? If, should I not be saying all this? No? Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Dog, I wash my face every morning and night. I think that's bad. It's kind of like shampooing. You're not supposed to do it every day. Oh, no, 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 no. Face wash, different. Really? We, we sweat, touch, all sorts of shit, dirt, uh -huh. every day, all day. Uh -huh. But that's not even what I'm honing in on. The at, the fact you were so open to where it could, whoosh, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But the fact you used six pumps of face wash. I'm going to say it one more time slowly to make sure I heard you. Yes, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pumps. Mm -hmm, pumps. It's in my hand. Of a face wash. Yes. To wash your hands. Yes. To then not wash your face with the face wash. No, because if I want to touch my face after I wash, I don't want to use the Dove body wash or the Manscaped body wash. I don't want to use any of the body washes I have on my face because I'll break out. So if I do go to touch my face, I want it to be the face wash that is left over on my hands. Mm -hmm. I just washed my beard for the first time like a month ago. <laughs> Because my Brooks, our barber, first time he was ever. like, he was like, bro, you got to do something with that. He's what like, it's was, getting what nasty. What if he was cutting it and it was like, it was like sawmill work. It was like, <laughs> it was like flying. It was like, you ever know you have bad breath and you go to get your hair cut? It's so awkward. Oh no, I have bad breath often. Why, Peyton? What a task to wake up in the morning, Cam? And you think I'm gonna brush I, I, my I'm, teeth? I'm, I'm, I'm staying. You the don't night. give a. F I'm staying the night. You don't care. I'm staying the night. You don't care. I do care. I'm saying I just. You've care. known me for like seven, eight years, and, and I, you have always, not come to check on me once. That's not true. When have you come that's to check on me? When have you genuinely come to check on me? I literally. First off, I call you all the time. If you want me to be there physically with you, you call me because you're asking about something. Bullshit. What do you call me? There's, what do you call me for? This is like the Philly and Chunk shit. No, and exactly, but that's nowhere near it. We talk. Every day, we talk day every day about, about what? About you want to. The only thing you want to talk about is your diamond opal f bullshit cards on 2K that you bought. That is nowhere near. You've never true. called me and be like, and How's your mental health? I didn't buy them. Yes, you do. No, I didn't. Uh, I, it's, it's, that's the only thing he cares about. I this did, is what's the only thing you care about. P, 
I we talk all the time. Fine. We talk all the time. About what? We talk, we talked on the way on the car up here. About about um, relationship statuses. And I was asking you questions, allowing you to vent, and I said, I got you, Bubba. I even consulted you and you said, Oh no, no, I'm not sad. I'm not. All right then. About that. <laughs> You said everything else. Everything else is great. No, but I've actually never smelt your bad breath. Like, and I didn't even know you dealt with bad breath. Because when we kiss, Ryan I smelled, take Ryan care of it. Ryan smelled it that one time. That was, he said, P, I'm going to ask you once, dog. Did you brush your teeth this morning? Ryan was spotting Peyton on the bench press. P was like, Ugh. Ryan said, <laughs> he like moved out the way. And Peyton laughed and the weight went on him. That was a uh, hell of a moment. But you, we, you only, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much longer I got. Guys. What was that laugh? <laughs> Look, you only, you only That's talk to me to debate things with me or true. make fun of something I do. That's not true. In the one of the things you made fun of me recently, and I, I don't give a shit, and I won't let the internet tell me I'm wrong. I won't let you, big headed, nasty ass, toe wide hipped ass. You're gonna have a weird kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. One thing, You're that, one thing that you made fun of me for that I will not go down. Mm -hmm. I will not go down. Whenever you ask me, whenever like I'm supposed to meet you somewhere. You ask me, you're like, P, how far are you? And I always tell you I'm five miles away. And you get on me for that instead of, cause you want me to tell you the time. I, what, what does it matter? The distance. Everything for us is relevant on time. Five miles in traffic could be 20 minutes. Five miles on a freeway could be three minutes. You ask me how far I am. How far are you? Five miles. In terms of time, everyone, what do I gain from you being five miles away? I don't know if, there, if there's a broken bridge, if you're in the middle of a movie 2012, okay. you're dodging potholes. Th I could be six hours away from you and be down the road. Exactly. Tell me that if you because if you told me I'm down the road, I'm a mile away. Okay, but it doesn't I don't matter. Assume you're two no, minutes away. No, because if I'm two miles away, you could come get me if it's six hours away because there's a catastrophic event on the freeway. I'm two miles away, you could come get me. If I'm six hours away, I could be in Destin, Florida. How that's not right. And how many times have I called you and there's a catastrophic event? Every day is a catastrophic <laughs> event in my life. Yeah, I'm staying the night. But you don't. <laughs> Why would you? Okay, how? genuinely, just uh, let you know what. Okay. Let's let's blank. Let's blank it. Let's let's start from scratch. Okay. Okay. If we're if we're set to meet somewhere, a, a certain location. Yes. And I go, how far are you? Four miles, Cam. Okay. Now talk me through why you would say that as opposed to time. Why does it make sense to you? I'm being genuine. I want to hear your side. I'm being dead ass. Okay. Because it makes sense to me. Because. That's fine. You said, how far are you? I'm four miles away. That's far is a measurement of distance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Miles is a measurement of distance. distance. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you what you asked for, right? So what would the appropriate question be? How long is it going to take you to get here? That's so much longer. <laughs> but it's what you want. That's twice the length. Okay, but every, every time I tell people, like business people, friends, family, Hey, how far are you? I'm X amount of miles away, and everybody gets on me, and I don't get that. Common denominator. Maybe every, maybe everyone. We're that bad shit again. We're the sheep. You're the ultra master mega mind lord. But that that okay. We're, I, I'll agree with you. Mark it down. This is a very rare event. I'll agree. Technically, you're answering it correct. So there's nothing. There's no. There's no pin on your jacket. But <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, are you you're shitting me? Do you really think I care about the kilometers of, of you to the bar? I'm not in the UK. I, I care about how long is it going to take you to get here. But instead of me saying those 12 words, how far are you? Okay, but Cam, I'm telling you, I feel like, okay, in a regular instance of life, regular, without any other variables, two miles normally takes two minutes, right? That's how I was taught. 10 miles is 10 minutes. That's without any variables, that's how far it is. One mile a minute. No. That's literally probably only if you're on a highway or freeway or tollway. You have to be going 60 miles an hour to be a mile a minute. If you're going residential roads, see, I, I just said something new to you. You understand that? That's why it's a mile a minute. 60 miles an hour. Oh my God. I'm listening. Hurry. Oh my God. Before I lose it, keep going. I was... 60 miles an hour. Yes. Means a mile a minute. No, I get it. 
So what if you're going in your neighborhood at 20? But you, that my, doesn't okay. resonate to a mile you, a minute. Do you understand? That's a mile every three minutes. You. It just makes sense to me because, because if <laughs> that's fine. Okay, 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 that's okay, wrong. okay. When you look something up, so say we had a business meeting, and somebody said this is where the address is. What is the first thing you're gonna look at? What, what, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna say? What do I say to you when you put it? We on just that? had a photo shoot over there down the street, and you said, "Oh, where is it?" And I said, "It's it's eight miles down the road." Exactly. So that makes sense to you how far it is. Nine out of ten people, when they say, hey, how, how far is that Chick-fil-A from the football game afterwards? It's what two, are they going to say? It's five miles down the road. You're liar. They're going to say it's eight minutes. I no one speaks in miles I swear you. to God. Would you, rather say, would you rather say, hey, it's 100 miles away? Would you still want to go? What are we on a road trip? That's exactly what I'm saying. Would you? So then you Every know. Every answer you would say to me would be ten miles in less. Okay, okay, but if it was ten miles down the road, and and uh, somebody who drives fast, I'd be like, it's one minute away. No, it's not. Are you? What are you driving? That's one minute for ten miles. I'm just saying, if somebody that drives fast is different. Something that won't change is the distance, is the miles. That's something that won't change. <laughs> oh my God. You showed a lot of teeth. Cause you're pissing me off. That was scary. Bro, Something that won't, time will always change. Distance won't change. Miles won't change. The gravel, the land won't change. But that doesn't answer the question, the, the true question people are wondering. Miles makes the world go round. Time is what everyone lives on. People don't give a shit how, if you live three miles, they care, oh, he's seven minutes away. People don't give a shit if it's a, ten, a 12 and a half mile drive to the bar. If it's they care if it's 20 minute drive. Everyone goes off time. But that changes. That changes. One thing that won't change is how far it is away. But it's also, but okay, that won't change. But that's the that's the reason. Cause for you, twelve miles might be thirty minutes. For me, twelve miles could be twelve minutes. That's why people want the time and not the mileage. Your grandpa could take an hour to get to the club. You might take twenty minutes. So tell me, is it going to be twenty or an hour? Don't tell me twelve miles because the miles won't change, but the time will. No, but if I tell you the distance that it is, you can make your own. Reference in your brain. Then why the f would I even ask you if I'm gonna make my own presumption? Because you're asking me. You said how far are you, so I'm telling you how far it is. Exactly. I. And then make your own presumption based on the knowledge you know of how if fast I, I drive. If I wanted the distance, I could map it. I'm asking you because it changes for you. It is specific to you. It's subjective to you. The distance is objective. No, because there's always there's always there's variables. There's always what? There's always variables that can happen. Exactly. That's what we're trying to figure out. The, the roads but I don't change. know. I don't know. There could be a tin car pilot, but I don't know. But but you know I am X amount of miles away. So you could presume miles in time. Your Tesla knows the distance. Apple Maps, Google Maps, shitty ass Waze Maps, your little shit map Waze Maps. Shit Maze, ma shit Waze, Waze is the best. Maps. You can have the Jonas Brothers tell you your directions. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. And they all know the time, but 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 little Peyton does it. I'm not little. Big Peyton does Thank it. Thank you. Massive Peyton does it. Good morning. Girthy baked. Good yeah. God. Bro, why would I don't give a shit about mileage? I want to know if you're 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, it, or 10 minutes. Hey, that doesn't mean much because you don't give a shit about me either. Now let's give a love doctor. Shut up. <laughs> Dr. P. 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 I think you changed up the. Beat a little bit. I had to take a breath, so Golly. sincerely sorry. I was Golly. running out of oxygen. Golly. Oh, what do we got? This yeah. Better uh, be toxic. This 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 week's is sick. I'm not gonna lie. Good, good. It. Dr. P likes the sickness. All right, Doc dear Dr. P. Hello. So I really like a guy, and I've liked him for over a year now. Try eight with this guy. But he's a teacher. <laughs> and he was my teacher last year. <laughs> he's really young and single. Should I wait till I graduate to go after him? Or should I try to find someone my own age? The guy helped me a lot mentally, educationally. Please, guys, stop. And physically. I need help. Oh, let's get into it, boy. She's got a teacher that's young and single, hasn't even graduated, helped her Mentally, educationally, and physically. I can't even joke on this one. Um, oh man, you wanted toxic, and that's, your, that's, your secretary. I found also it. wanted legal. Huh? <laughs> your secretary found it. Look, do not engage. First of all, India Golf Niner Niner. First of all, is a, is a gone. Let me be completely serious here. 
I am very concerned on what you mean by physically. Very, yes. If so, if there is any kind of physical contact with your teacher, you need to talk to somebody. Counselors, law enforcement, parents, now. And that person needs to go under, under the jail. Pretty <laughs> out jail. Uh, no, dead ass. That no. is that is bad. If, they, if there is any kind of relationship there that is not school related, that needs to be brought up. In okay, I'll, ha I'll have a, I'll have a suggestion, Sire. Okay, let's approach the rest of this, assuming there was no physical okay. boundaries, for legality reasons. No, uh, regardless, get no, 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 no. And we mm. also we also don't know, don't know <laughs> if it's high school or college. So I don't know. No, no one says teacher in college. That's true. They're professors. Oh my, professors God, oh, my professors oh my God, it's high school. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's high school senior. No, no. I, no. I'm not the doctor. You need the police. You need help. Um, no. It is okay to have a crush on your teacher. I'm sure a lot of people have. Keep that inside and never tell anybody. Inside, inside. Do not tell that teacher because that is a that is a problem. Mm. Um Good God. Uh, you threw Dr. P for a loop. Dr. P is with fun, toxic things. 97 mile an hour curveball. Dr. Ball, P right is for pipe. full legality. Um, leave that teacher alone. You keep it yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Um, no tutor time. No, don't, no emails. Don't care if you're failing. Fail. Not you fail if you yeah, need you to. Fa you take that F and, on the and chin. You, and, you, and you pass summer classes, so you don't have to go back there. Uh, maybe in like eight years. After high school, then you can roundabout and go see, but no, 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 ma'am, wrong. So to answer, she has she has another question. You close your mouth. Huh? Should she should she wait till she graduates, or try to find someone her own age? Yes, find someone your own age. The latter. The latter. Doctor P wants to go back on his private jet. Keep singing the song. Okay. Oh my God. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. Get some help. <laughs> Doctor P. That was a. Oh my God. That was a. That was a, a, a case file. That was a wild. That's not a Doctor P. Thing. Is that, that is a police thing? Is that top three we've ever received? That's worst three. That's bottom three. No. Yeah. Top three of. of of sickness. Of sick. Good God. I like toxicity. But and, le 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 and legality. Yeah. Good God. That made me uncomfortable. Oh, my God. All right. My heart is pounding. Keep going. All right. Get us out of here. Good uh, God. Yeah. Wow. What a um, note to end it on. Tickets. Get your tickets. F you don't come. <laughs> he is He is in shock. Dude, I'm uncomfortable. Dr. P, you, you take a one minute breather. You know, collect your thoughts. All right, guys. Episode 108. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and Uncle P, Peyton, and Dr. P, even though he's sickened right now, bottom of his heart for 500,000 subs. It's fantastic. Uh, we could not be where we are without y'all. And what'd Kobe say? Job's not done. Job's not done. We're going We're for million. Millie by December 31st, 2024. We're chasing Millie. We're knocking at his doorstep. But thank you again for pulling up to another episode. Also, thank you for all the uh, happy birthday wishes. I will respond to some. Uh, thank you for the ones on Instagram, everything. I really do love y'all. Appreciate I it. I got the secret code. What? Okay. Secret code? Wait, wait, wait. Use the secret code everywhere. On Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, everywhere. Discord, Patreon. Use it everywhere. Confuse casuals. Get your good karma. And you have to spam this one. I want there to be 10,000 comments in this episode. 10 million thumbs ups on this episode. A stretch but uh spam the secret code is hbdc happy birthday cam in the comments right now spam it everywhere everybody hey, and everybody comment your favorite cam win moment if you if all the oh, all the win. all the clip people post your favorite cam clips on tiktok and Ooh, tag us a cam edit question mark for a little birthday print nope that's i funny. saw a cam edit the I other day cam girlies it's all right i have a, i have cam the girl cam girly. we have the cam, cam girl she's um, my beautiful wife and cam and you have a cam boy and i have a cam boy that's my beautiful boy right there enough of the sat the, the sappy shit yeah it's my birthday 26 years of life thank you so much the summer tour tickets are out now top link in the bio click that it's gonna have all the links for the different cities come see us because we want to see you it's gonna be so so fun and fantastic we can't wait to see all your beautiful little faces and we're not touring again 
for a while. We're not touring again for a while. And a big important piece, this is the same show as the first leg of the tour that was spaced out. This is just giving it all to you in a, in a solid little month and some change. So same show if you've already been to them. That doesn't mean you got to not pull up to another one. But it's the same show. Don't spoil it for your fellow brothers and sisters of the You Should Know family. We love you so, 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 so much. And remember... <laughs> One out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas, and we will see you. What the hell fell out of my sh next time, and we'll see you this summer. Tickets Hello? available right now. Yeah, you're going to DC. Mm. What about Philadelphia or Chicago? Deuces.